Now for more on the situation in Sudan, I'm joined live via Skype from Boston, Massachusetts by Dr. Anmar Homeda, the Healthcare Programs Director with the Sudanese American Physicians Association. Dr. Homeda, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Esther. Very nice to meet you and uh, talk to you more about the crisis that is currently happening in Sudan and to shed the light on what's going on right. and uh, you know, to increase advocacy on those agendas. So, Doctor, more. given now the limited resources in Sudan's medical facilities and lack of funds, what can be done to contain the spread of these highly contagious diseases? You know, unfortunately, what's currently happening in Sudan is quite interconnected. You know, it's not only like uh, it, it's 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 a health thing rather than you know a bureaucratic emergency. Elements, uh, the economic impact is one of it, and of course, gonna be directly uh, linked with the uh, with the with the food security and the nutrition impact, and of course, the uh, health impact. And those uh, health uh, emergencies that. Uh, our people in Sudan are currently facing, unfortunately, directly linked with the uh, lack of the governmental support to uh, to hold on on the basic infrastructures in terms of providing uh, adequate, you know, um, uh, and quality uh, water sources, uh, and of course, you know, supporting the aspects of uh, providing the basic and minimum preventive healthcare services that could guard against any uh, spread of those uh, outbreaks. But uh, of course, due to the limited resources that uh, all uh, partners and uh, humanitarian actors whom are currently working in Sudan are facing, and as you highlighted in your report, uh, the, the funding gap is really huge up to, uh, uh, according to the, the last uh, re report from uh, UN OCHA, uh, up to only 31% of the uh, Sudan humanitarian response plan has been actually uh, uh, secured, and uh, this gonna be directly linked to the uh, best utilization of the available resources that we are currently have as uh, partners and local actors, and of course uh, community groups who might support massively on such situation. Uh, as you know, uh, the the government lack the capacity right now. Uh, to support like such uh, a response for those protracted emergencies that the country is currently facing in different locations. So uh, the solidarity on the ground is really important. Uh, the effective coordination between the international uh, UN agencies and national actors, and of course, with a strong contribution from the community mm -hmm. actors and uh, with agendas is really needed uh, to, 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 to guard against any uh, spread, more spread on those outbreaks. In addition... Right. Dr. Homeda, uh, what I hear from you is, of course, the crisis is there, the outbreaks, uh, there's lack of, uh, you know, money for people to get food on the table. But uh, this is all stemming out of the uh, warring sides, the conflict between Hemeti and Al-Bruhan. If you had a chance to speak to those two men, what would you say? Um, you know, honestly speaking, uh, the aspects of uh, of, of this uh, conflict, unfortunately, uh, to be honest with you, affected me as a person, affected my family, affected anyone whom I'm currently know directly or indirectly. Uh, people lost their lives. People lost their, you know, livelihoods. Uh, incomes are, let's say, uh, unpredicted, you know, in terms of providing the basic needs for the family. Uh, people are currently dying, especially children, you know, whom have like a huge uh, uh, short-term and long-term outcomes in terms of their cognitive development and the, the outcomes of those malnutrition uh, effects. So I just want to state like a clear message, just to stop the war and try the best possible, you know, right. just to sit together as Sudanese and to hold on on a one uh, right, consensus, doctor. you know, regarding... Uh, right, Doctor, we're going to have to wind up there. Hopefully they are listening. Uh, they need to stop the war. Thank you so much, Dr. Homeda. Thank you so much, Sister, for inviting me. Dr. Anmar Homeda is the Healthcare Programs Director with the Sudanese American Physicians Association.